my channel today we are going to learn about acid rain do you know that acid rain can really exist acid rain is a real thing and dangerous phenomenon if it happens so let's learn more about acid rain in this video and be aware of the harmful effects on plants aquatic animals and infrastructure first of all what is acid rain well we all know that rain clouds are for the pure water but sometimes gases such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide chemically react with the water and oxygen in the atmosphere and fall back to the earth in form of acid rain the type of acid rain that contains water is called wet deposition whereas acid rain formed with dust or gases is called dry deposition but how do these gases reach the atmosphere well there are two main sources first is the natural source like rotten vegetation and erupting volcanoes releasing some chemicals that can cause acid rain but most acid rain is a product of human activities such as burning fossil fuel smoke coming from vehicles and chemicals released from the factories but the question is what causes the rain to become acidic first you have to understand that normal rain is already little acidic while falling to the ground the rain dissolves carbon dioxide from the atmosphere that form carbonic acid with a pH 6 but due to burning fossil fuels and other human activities that releases gases such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide, much stronger acid gets into the rain that turn it into acid rain with pH 3, which increases the acidity of rain significantly high. To understand it better, let me explain further. Normally plants, it takes some sulfur to grow that they obtain from potassium sulfate already present in the soil. The sulfate is consumed through the roots as the sulfur atoms bond with the carbon atoms in the leaf proteins. After a million of years, when these plants decay and turn into coal, the sulfur atoms and carbon atoms remain intact. And when we burn fossils of these decayed plants, the sulfur and carbon atoms mix with the oxygen in the air and releases into the atmosphere as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. When the sunlight hits these gases, a chemical reaction takes place where the sulfur dioxide reacts with more oxygen that form it into sulfur trioxide that mixes with rainwater to create sulfuric acid. Similarly, when our vehicles release nitrogen oxide into the atmosphere, they react with more oxygen and mixes with rainwater to form nitric acid. Now that we understand the causes of acid rain, let us find out the effects of this phenomenon in our environment. Acid rain has many ecological effects like primary on lakes, rivers and other aquatic environments which result in more aluminum absorption from the soil which is carried to lakes and rivers by making them water toxic for the aquatic animals to survive not only that Acid rain harm forests as well by damaging the leaves and taking the soil essential nutrients by making it difficult for trees to consume water. Now that we, now since that we already know the causes and effects of acid rain, what we can do to stop acid rain? Well, the simple thing that we can do is to avoid burning fossil fuels of smoke that decreases the number of pollutants responsible for acid rain. Hope you learned something from my video today. Please share this video to spread the awareness on how to stop acid rain. Let's save our environment, save animals, and save life. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Ayobawan Mabuhay!